Hello, this is Jordan Banning with California Surveying and Drafting Supply. What we're going to do in RealWorks today is model a column and then duplicate that column out on a grid pattern. This is just a uh, tenant improvement project here in Northern California, San Francisco. We'll go ahead and uh, open up the Scan Explorer tool. And we've just clicked around this column from the single station. Once we've got the data we want, we click Create, and it puts it in as an object into Trimble RealWorks. We'll have another video here about the uses of Scan Explorer as well. So back over to the project. I'm going to turn off the project point cloud, and here's the data we just extracted. So I'll center on point by clicking X on my keyboard. We'll rotate around. And the very first portion we're going to do is the cylinder on the bottom of the column. So I'll click the object, hit cloud-based modeling. Using the segmentation tool, we'll grab just the bottom portion of this column. Again, X on the keyboard for center on point. We'll rotate to the top. I like to zoom out or grab the segmentation tool and quickly segment again, just to ensure we don't have any stray points out there. We'll click the cylinder, we'll click fit, and you can see that it quickly fit a cylinder to the bottom of the column. The second portion of this column here is a cone. Using the segmentation tool again, grab the clone. I hit I on my keyboard for in. Rotating to the top, we'll switch to the circular segmentation tool. I on the keyboard again for in. Take a look at it. Click the cone, click fit, and we've got a nice cone there on top of the cylinder. Click create. The last portion of this is just a box on top here. So using the segmentation tool again, we'll select this box portion. Again, we'll rotate to a plan view or a top-down view. I for in. Then over here in our cloud-based modeler tool, we'll click on the box and hit fit. And there's the top portion of the column. So we'll create that. So looking here, you can see we've got all three components, all three geometries that make up this column. We'll turn the project point cloud back on as a reference. Select all three of these components we've just created. Turn off the other portion of the cloud. Then we'll click the duplication tool. We want to duplicate along a line using a 3D direction. In this case, I'm going to fit this to the x-axis. On the left, you can specify how many items you'd like to make. We've got three in this case. You can key in your spacing, or you can just grab this little arrow and pull those columns out to see what kind of fit they make there. Rotate around a little bit. Make sure you're happy with the fit. Anyone who works on projects like this know that there's a possibility all these columns may not be the same. So now we've made four columns, three of them duplicated from the original. I'm going to grab all three of these and move them into my duplication folder. Then I can select all four. Twelve objects total. Again, we're going to duplicate. This time we're going to go on the y-axis. This pulls it out into the wrong direction. We click Invert Path Direction. And just as we did with a single column, we're going to grab this arrow and pull it out until we think they line up. Rotate it around. You can see here that we still have a maybe about six inches or so to pull these columns out from this direction. And we'll pull it out there, bring it right back, 
until we're satisfied with our fit. Hit create. And now we've got all 16 columns. If I turn the project point cloud off, you can see all the model geometries. And we could repeat this process on all six floors of this building and quickly and accurately model all these columns. Thank you for watching. Please get in touch with us if you have any questions.